just a minute. I need some batteries. My apologies, but my batteries are almost dead, and I checked it earlier. All right, I think we're ready to go now. My apologies once again, my batteries were out, so I had to re put some new ones in. It's great to be with you this morning. It's wonderful, wonderful. It's a beautiful day. We got a little bit of rain that's, that's uh, just trying to help the farmers and the grass and all of that. So uh, thank you for joining us. Pastor is out today. We want to... Uh, make special prayer for pastor. He's having a cataract surgery on his right eye. So we want to uh, remember him and, and uh, continue to pray for Kathy with her, with her back issues, uh, surgery coming up uh, next month. So we want to remember both uh, Kathy and pastor. He's going to be, uh, it could be in, in play right now. I uh, know he was headed that way. Uh, this morning. So have you hit like and share. Please hit like and share. And uh, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for joining us wherever you are this morning. Thank you. Uh, it is great to be with you if you're playing, uh, replaying it later in the day, in the evening, in the nighttime. Thank you. You can always hit share at any time. Uh, share it to your friends and uh, maybe stick a note on say, you know, man, this, this really... Uh, it's really grabbed me this morning or, or uh, something to think about. So uh, help us out there and uh, let's continue to be effective in, in spreading the word today. This morning I'd like to sh uh, share a devotion by, by, uh, by Cliff West. Uh, he's a phenomenal uh, writer, uh, a speaker, and so... Um, Today's, today's uh, devotion, it's, it's called Anaya's Memorial Service, and it's a little uh, heart-wrenching, so uh, stay with me all the way through. Here you go. We fell in love as teenagers, Roberto told his pastor as they finalized plans for Anaya's Memorial Service. She was my high school sweetheart. Side note, I married my high school sweetheart. How long were you married? 58 glorious years. We got married outside and under an oak tree. It was late October and the leaves were sunset orange. A s slight smile brightened his face as he reminisced his wedding day. It matched the tint in her hair and the sparkle in her soul. Pastor Costello stopped taking notes and patted his friend on the back of the hand. She loved you as much as you loved her. Rob bit his lip and nodded. Pastor, I've got a strange request for the funeral. He tapped his fingers on the table. After you've said all you're going to say and before they roll her... <coughs> Before they roll and down the aisle, I want you to turn off all the lights in the chapel. 
uh, the funeral director will have to, have to give his approval. Do you mind if I ask why? It goes back to our dating days. On Friday evenings, I'd pick her up at her mom's house and take her to the drive-in for, for a burger. She'd watch the movie and I'd watch her. When I took her home, we'd say goodbye on the porch. One goodbye was never enough. When I pulled onto the road at the end of her driveway, I'd blink the interior light twice. She'd stand at the front door and blink the porch light twice. Later, I told her it meant I love you. And she said it meant until we meet again. If you turn the lights off at the end of the funeral, I'll blink my flashlight twice as a final goodbye. Two days later, Roberto sat on the front row of the chapel with his son and daughter-in-law. Pastor Costello ended the service with a short explanation. Roberto knows he will see his wife again. According to the scripture, when Jesus returns, God will bring back with him the believers who have died. 1 Thessalonians 4, 4 and 14. To conclude the service, Roberto has requested a final moment to, ex to express his final goodbye to his precious wife. It's a token of love from the years of their courtship. He told them the significance of the blinking lights and offered advice to the parents. Please comfort your children. It would only be dark for a few moments. He nodded to the funeral director. In the darkness of the chapel, Roberto uncrinkled a paper bag and pulled out a flashlight. He stood up and pointed it towards Anaya's picture near the casket. Blink, blink. I love you, Ann. I love you. His lips quivered. His voice cracked. Impromptu, uh, Pastor Costello pulled out his cell phone and turned on the blinking flashlight. He held it up over his head and spoke for Anaya until we meet again. Spontaneously, all over the chapel, one person after another stood and held up their blinking cell phone. Roberto spun around and watched with amazement. Until we meet again, said one. Until we meet again, said another. The chapel blinked with dozens of lights like fireflies on a summer night. A grand celebration, a fireworks show in the sky. Tears and applause filled the air. Roberto laughed like he was a kid again. The only things missing were party horns and helium balloons. The funeral turned into a festive jubilee. If you think our celebration was something, Roberto said to Pastor Costello in the family car. Just imagine how they celebrated when Ann walked through heaven's gates. Knowing, knowing her love for you, Rob, she probably blinked the lights twice before going inside. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 1 and 4. For everything there is a season. A time to cry and a time to laugh. I hope that has touched you this morning. So, uh, I have a couple, of, uh, at least one birthday I wanted to announce this morning. My friend uh, Percy Parak, who uh, watches us. Uh, on occasion here, happy birthday, Percy. Uh, we go back to Spring Creek Church of God in Spring Creek, Tennessee. So uh, actually East Ridge, Tennessee, I'm sorry. Uh, back in the about 94 to about 97. So happy birthday, Percy. I hope you have a great day. And uh, 
you're blessed. Let's remember our uh, our our uh, our prayer list this morning. Uh, as starting off with our COVID list, Danny and Pam Gay uh, with COVID. Our friends uh, Tom and Janine Stokes in uh, in Mobile. Bonnie Williamson in in South Carolina. Uh, they all have COVID, as well as uh, a friend of of Betty Taylor's, Jean. Hannah, uh, she has COVID and lives in Jacksonville. So we want to uh, remember these. Let me get situated here a little bit better. There. On our cancer list, let's remember uh, Debbie Armstrong, uh, Hudson Branch, uh, Fenty Beasley, uh, Larry Bess, uh, Phyllis Carter, Allison Clark, Jackie Day, Carrie Dowdy has uh, more spots, Caroline Eckless, uh, Wanda Eldridge, Tom Fiegel, Stephanie Felix, Charlene Harper, Phil Hurd, Calvin Hitchcock, Carolyn McBryant, Jenna Miracle, Zoe Neesler, Laura Naboa, Leslie Padgett, Billy Paramore, uh, they need our prayers, Speedy. Paramore needs our prayers. Linda Sanford, uh, Carol Stallmaker, Gage Stubbs, uh, Michelle Sumner is uh, is home on hospice with uh, with cancer. Drew Setchton, Dewey Taylor, Paxton Tucker, Jerry Williams, Norman Williamson. Uh, Jean and Barbara Clements in an auto accident with uh, uh, auto accident with the uh, log truck Sunday, I believe it was. Michael Colson with uh, bladder. My, my nephew uh, Scott Green has an appointment uh, for his valve replacement. On the August 10th, uh, Brent Griffin with knee surgery. Uh, Linda B. Uh, with a pacemaker. Benji Hartman and my mother-in-law, Sylvia Murray, uh, having a knee replacement on the August the 23rd. Also, uh, uh, Terry Bagley. Uh, Beth, that's uh, Deborah Marshall's uh, daughter, needs our prayers Op optic uh, neuritis, Charles Black with his Crohn's acting up, Virginia Busby with her back, uh, Deborah Chambers, uh, Steve Freeman with his eyes. We want to continue to remember him. Desiree Gingrich, Amy, Amy Paul Grist, Doris Harper, Gary Harris, uh, Jeff Jerkins' parents, Melanie Jones, Teresa McDuffie with her eyes. Uh, Debbie Melton uh, needs our prayers. Lydia Mercado, Brady Mims, William Odom, Amanda Owens, Dylan Powell, uh, Don Ringer, Troy Rowe, Patsy Sumner, Becky Sutton, uh, Jonathan Thurston starting, starting some new uh, medication today. So, uh, Need you to help us pray that his numbers, his hemoglobin numbers would increase to 15, from 9 to 15. That's what we need to pray specifically for. Melanie Welch, Colette West got home recovering from an auto accident. Patricia West, William Young, Ranson, and Angela, Angela Youngblood. And uh, we want to continue to pray for our military and our our EMS and our first responders, our our hospitals, and uh, I want you to. I, I would like to add that we that we pray for our children in our in our school systems and our teachers that uh, the hand of protection would be upon them. Uh, uh, pastor has asked me to announce 
a a um, it's a Bible reading that they're doing at the courthouse. It's called uh, 714. It's going to be Thursday morning at 714 a.m. at the courthouse here in Ben Hill County. And uh, Jerry Tuck is the statewide coordinator of this uh, event. And so uh, she has coordinated with with someone in every county to read seven chapters of the Bible at 714 sharp on Thursday morning. And this will uh, basically, uh, the whole Bible will be read on Thursday morning uh, all across Georgia in every county. So, uh, I think this is a tremendous thing. We we need God's word back in our back in our communities, back in our hearts, back in our minds. Uh, so uh, avail yourselves to this. I'm going to be out of town, but I, if I were here, I will I would would be there. 7:14 a.m. at the courthouse. Uh, let let's let's uh, support this. Uh, it'll probably only last about 15, 30 minutes uh, if, if your schedule allows you to insert that into your morning. So um, 714, it's a Bible, Bible reading at the Ben Hill Courthouse. So uh, lots of good things happening uh, tomorrow. Uh, Pastor uh, should be back with us. Tomorrow night we'll have service. Uh, you don't want to miss it. Pastor will be starting his new new book on the the Holy Spirit, and we'll be going through the uh, the introduction for that. So you don't want to miss it. You want to be here and be in service. The C three will be be going on. Vital Vital Youth will be going on, and uh, Sync will be. Uh, will be happening, and so it's going to be a great, great night. So you want to be here and uh, bring someone with you. Bring someone with you, and, and uh, let's, let's just meet together and share the Word, share fellowship together, and, uh, and be a blessing to one another. And so uh, thank you for uh, joining us this morning. Please continue to... Uh, to remember us and being faithful to God and your tithes and your giving, special projects, offerings. Uh, you are the reason that, that we are able to do uh, ministry here at the Fitzgerald Church of God. And we're so grateful and so appreciative. As we close, I want you to continue to remember our pastor and Kathy, uh, with Pastor with his eye and Kathy with her, with her back, that... Uh, God will do a healing work in their, in their bodies, and we're believing for it today. We're believing for you. Uh, would you join me in prayer this morning? Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you, God, for your blessings. Lord, we know that you are our healer, that you are our provider. You are the peace speaker. And, Lord, we praise you and we give you thanks, God, for your unfailing love and your faithfulness, your goodness, and your mercy. Lord, I pray that you would uh, bring healing to each one, Lord, that's in our, uh, on our prayer list. Those that we have not mentioned, God, that you would touch them as well. And Lord, that uh, you would cover our, our school, our children, our teachers, Lord, all across this nation. Lord, the evil that's, that's trying to infiltrate our schools. Lord, we just, uh, we stand against it today. And Lord, we're believing that the hand of protection will be upon us. Lord, I, I pray that you would give courage to, to those in, in areas that, that they need to stand up and, and voice their, their opposition to things that are, that are totally ungodly and, and that are being presented to the schools, that you would just uh, give them courage to stand against it and to push back the enemy. Lord, we, uh, we lift up our, our, our EMS, our, our law enforcement. Uh, 
Lord, that you would give them guidance. Lord, that you would cover uh, every church, Lord, in, in being a hand of protection against those who would bring harm. And Lord, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you thanks for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Have a great day. Bye-bye.